All right, so I go into this day 3 and 0, undefeated, 3 wins, 0 losses. I'm heading into my first Road to Glory tournament. Whew, feeling good about myself. I got to change my team up because my fitness was a disaster. So, when I had my main starting 11 players in there, my team was absolute dookie. Now, I got to put substitute and reserve players in. So my team is extra poo poo. Absolutely the worst team. Yeah? And I get matched up against this dude. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's no way I'm going to be able to compete with this. And I was right. Four minutes in, he's winning already. His pace was too much. I put my team on ultra defense. Well, no, not ultra defense, but on defense. And I tried to just hold him and, and, and control the game. I couldn't. His players were too fast. And every time I countered, my strikers could not get by his center backs. His center backs were just way too quick. And honestly, I only blame myself because I think I got a bit too cocky or a bit too comfortable. Because I went into this game thinking, oh man, I cruised through this tournament. Easy, won the games well. Maybe I should put my reserve players in and rest my starters. And it was a mistake. As you can see, my opponent embarrassed me. It was 4-0 in the 61st minute. And at this point, I said, yo, I got to defend. This is going on YouTube, all right? There's no way I'm suffering more than four goals. I'm done. So I defended, and I got away with just a 4-0 embarrassment. All right? Whew! That was close. Any more would have been terrible for YouTube. But... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got beat pretty bad. I shouldn't have rested my starting 11. I got annihilated, and now I got three wins and one loss. After that, my morale was on a low, so I said, hey, maybe I should open up my four free packs, because that's going to bring my morale up. And then I saw the flip, and I said, EA, don't BS me. Give me a good player. And then booyah. Got a nice bronze player right there. Check that man out. The man from the Ivory Coast. Let's go check him out. 80 pace. I open him up. Let's go look at his stats. Go on. Boom. Four-star skiller. Plays in the second division in Spain. And then a light bulb went off in my head. Boom. And I was like, wait a minute. Four-star skiller. 80 paced from the Ivory Coast. Plays in the, in, in, the, in the Spanish second division. This might be a good play to build a bronze team around. And then I get Sinclair in my second pack. From Man City. And I was like, hmm. This might be a good player to build a gold team around. Things are starting to really come, get, come together, right? I don't know. Got a good bronze player, thinking I might build my bronze team around him. Got a good gold player, thinking I might build my gold team around him. Plus, BPL teams are always my favorite teams to play with in FIFA's. So why not build a team around Sinclair? We'll have to see how that works out. Then I open up one of my last packs. I got two more left. And on the flip, who do I get? This was actually the worst pack out of all of them. I get a nice nice bronze player there, left back from, from Greece, but not really sure if I would use him. I didn't discard any of the players yet. I just saved everything in my club. If I discard anything, I'll show you guys so you can see how I'm making the coins. Um, so I kept everything for now. I opened up my last pack, and this is when things really got interesting. I get Diago, the Portuguese guy from Electrical Madrid. But I wasn't thinking that. You see that silver uh, silver player right there? Left, right mid from the MLS, Brazilian. And now I'm thinking to myself, maybe this is the right person to build a silver team around. So I got a good bronze player. I got a good silver player. And I got a good gold player. Should I build my teams around those players? Because if we do that, then my bronze team would be from the second division in spain or we could be creative and bring in the first division in spain too then my silver team could be brazilian or from the mls which is a pretty epic silver team let's be honest with each other and then my gold team can be with sinclair from the bpl that could be pretty epic. Let me know in the comments down below if I should use these players to build teams around. I go into my second match of the day, and really I just feel like I was playing FIFA a bit poor. I go to halftime 1-1, to one, and I'm thinking to myself, the second half's going to be better. Game ends 1-1. One one. So we go into extra time, and I'm like, this half or this is definitely going to be better now. So I cross the ball in in the, 80, in the 91st minute. Ball's bouncing all over the place. He tries to clear it. He messes up. The ball falls to me. I put it into the back of the net, and we're back to winning ways. 
we're beasting until the hundredth and like uh fourth minute right because we're beasting now but then the hundred and fourth minute comes around and he's on the attack and i'm thinking i'm gonna win this game he's through and he puts it into the back of the net and it's two to two and i was defending really really bad real bad disgustingly bad and we go to penalties and now it's kind of like whoever gets lucky right and let me be honest with you fifa 13 taking penalties with bronze players i don't like it yo that green bar in the middle is like a centimeter it is so hard <laughs> i couldn't time it correctly because when you're playing online sometimes it feels a bit laggy I don't know i get that maybe it's just my internet but it feels a bit laggy so i always try to time it a bit earlier well i did that in fifa 12 and i thought i had to do that in fifa 13 but my method wasn't working because i could never get it directly in the middle you know what i mean but i'm still scoring so it's all right there's no need to complain about it until this penalty right but he saved it so i really can't complain about the green bar yet still gotta just keep going with it he just saved the wonderful one and i was getting outplayed I tried to save his, I couldn't, he scored, I stepped back up. Pretty much have to put this one into the back of the net, right? Keep an eye on the power bar. Yep, missed it completely, that goes over, and I'm pretty much going to lose. So, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me build teams around those players, the silver, the bronze, and the gold player. Also, I got annihilated two times in this episode. I was 3-0 coming into this day. Now I'm three wins and two losses. And I lost the tournament. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you were entertained for a bit. If you were, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you enjoyed that content. I'm your boy A9Skills. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. And I'm getting better. I'm almost, I'm almost done being sick. Which is great because I sound like poo. And I'm almost fixed. Good. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Booyah, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, man.